Nashville, before the Rolling Stones brought all of their rock and roll firepower back to Nissan Stadium on Saturday, Mick Jagger, it seems, had already painted the town red. I had a good time last night, the band's 78-year-old frontman told his audience. I went to Printer's Alley and sang Honky Tonk Women in a karaoke bar. I crashed a bachelorette party on a pedal tavern. They loved my Goo Goo Clusters. We all ended up at the Wild Beaver riding a mechanical bull. This city's gotten a lot louder and rowdier since the rock legends last came here in 2015, to say nothing of the humble town they saw on their first visit in 1965. But some things haven't changed, nearly 60 years in, the Rolling Stones deliver a show like no one else. That was clear from the moment they were introduced, ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Stones. It's a showbiz move from a long gone era, one that they've kept alive for a half century. That was followed by Keith Richards careening into view, scraping the opening chord of Street Fighting Man like he was revving up a chainsaw, as red fireworks lit up the night sky. Charlie Watts remembered in Rolling Stones tour. Then, along with long time, as in 46 years, guitarist Johnny Wood, came Jagger, who with each passing year seems more and more like an age-defying sorcerer. After two songs, he placed his hand on his chest and made some exaggerated huffs and puffs into the microphone. He fooled no one. On his 28,565th day on this planet, Mick Jagger remained an absurdly energetic force of nature. While the Stones bring pyrotechnics and towering video screens to every show they play, the most important piece might be the catwalk that extends to the middle of the stadium. It's Jagger's runway, a venue to shimmy, sprint and swirl his pelvis, yes, swirl, as he sees fit. Mick Jagger goes unnoticed at a small North Carolina bar. He might have even been in better shape than he was at the June 2015 concert, which was among the hottest gigs I think I've ever played, he previously told the Tennessean, part of the USA Today Network. Still, Saturday's show was also a reminder of the Stones' mortality, as it came just six weeks after the death of drummer Charlie Watts. Before the band took the stage, the video screens were filled with archival footage of Watts, as one of his steady drum beats played underneath. Soon after, Jagger spoke about his former bandmate with Richards and Wood by his side, as they've done on every stop of this tour. It's great to see all those images of Charlie up there on the screen, you know. We played together for 59 years. So many memories in that time, and I guess a lot of memories for you guys too, I'm sure. So we would like to dedicate this show to Charlie. Before his passing, Watts had already given his blessing to new drummer Steve Jordan, who has delivered, unsurprisingly, in rock-solid fashion, 
but Therese no ignoring that the stones suddenly sound different, for the first time in decades. While Jagger went all in on his dubious account of his Friday night in Nashville, this show had less of overt nod to Music City than the band's last visit. Fans voted for them to perform Dead Flowers, over other country-leaning songs, at the show. This time, they played it straight, without Wood playing battle steel or Jagger donning a cowboy hat. Another surprise came during Richard's traditional two-song turn as frontman, giving Jagger a moment to be tended to what we can only imagine is a furious backstage pit crew. He sang Connection from the band's 1967 critical favorite Between the Buttons, along with Steel Wheels highlight slipping away. It's great to be back, Richard said, before adding with a chuckle, it's great to be anywhere. Upon his return, Jagger only picked up steam, as the set snowballed with the likes of Miss You, painted black and sympathy for the devil, the latter queuing shimmering sparks to rain down on the field. After jumping Jack Flash, they returned for an encore of Gimme Shelter, with a star turn from background vocalist Sasha Allen, and finally, I Can't Get No, Satisfaction, which had the entire stadium, from the fans to the ushers, concession workers and cops, singing and stomping along. Even with the looming threat of parking lot traffic, few budged from their seats as Mick, Keith, Ronnie and company gave their final bows. That crowd won't regret their decision to stay. The world has been saying it for decades now, but really, this could be the last time. If so, the stones went out with a brilliant bang. The Rolling Stones Nashville set list. Street Fighting Man. Let's spend the night together. Tumbling Dice. Nervous Breakdown Troubles a comin' Dead Flowers You can't always get what you want Living in a ghost town. Start me up. Honky tonk women. Connection, Keith Richards. Slipping Away, Keith Richards Miss You Midnight Rumbler Paint It Black Sympathy for the Devil Jumpin' Jack Flash
Encore, Gimme Shelter, I Can't Get No, Satisfaction.